A West Oakland bike shop is doing its part to build a better Bay Area. The shop is hiring those who were formerly incarcerated. And in an effort to stop the playground to prison pipeline, they sell clothes, give away food, and even give away bikes. ABC 7 News reporter Ansar Hassan has more. Bikes for Life in West Oakland isn't a traditional bike store. They don't sell bikes, they give them away. We want formerly incarcerated people who are coming home between a clipper card and a bicycle, they should be able to get anywhere in the Bay Area that they need to go for jobs, for opportunities, services. Programs. George Galvis is the executive director of Courage, Communities United for Restorative Youth Justice. The group also runs the newly opened bike shop. Providing opportunities for formerly incarcerated people is, is, is critical in terms of reducing recidivism, in terms of promoting public safety, and, um, and they're the best messengers and mentors as folks who've been there and done that. The shop was inspired by biking advocate and community activist Tony Coleman, who died last year. Staying true to his mission, Bikes for Life also hires those who were formerly incarcerated, like Jesus Coba. They have all these goals because their time stood still for a little bit. And they want to make sure that when they hit the ground, they hit the ground running. They, they don't want to stand still. They don't want to be forgotten about. They want to be a part of society, you know. So uh, no one's perfect, but an opportunity always helps. And that's what we're here to do. Koba is also one of the designers of the T-shirts, symbolic of his Latino heritage and San Francisco roots. I got a shirt that just shows like cultural pride. Uh, one says sun kiss, you know, basically brown is beautiful, kissed by the sun. As the shop grows, so too will the job opportunities. They already launched a food pantry. Michael Littlebear heads that program called Heal, or Healthy Eating, Active Living. He also runs the bike shop. He also once served time behind bars. This program will help them get back on their feet. It will show them dignity and show them that somebody does care out there for them. The store is open, but things will really kick off in a few weeks when they will also be open to young people. They can repair or build a bike and take that bike home as well. And Galvis says, hopefully with some focus on the road ahead. That's part of our model is hiring people who have lived experience, who can support young people, guide them in making life-affirming decisions, who are credible messengers, <clears throat> who've overcome the challenges that the young people are being confronted with. In Oakland, on Sanhassen, ABC 7 News.